Good afternoon, it is Justin Spittler here with another quick video update. In this video update, we're gonna take a look at three stocks that I think need to be on every trader's radar as we head into tomorrow's CPI print. So it is May 9th, 2023. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get the CPI print, which will tell us how inflation has trended over the past month. Uh, over the past several months, inflation has been trending lower and many economists and traders expect another low number tomorrow. So if we have a positive reaction to the inflation data tomorrow, I think this is an area where you wanna be looking for longs. So I'm gonna share three of my favorite long setups with you guys today. Um, but before we dive into those individual stock setups, I wanna take a look at SMH. This is a semiconductor ETF. And the reason I wanna start things off by looking at SMH is because the three stocks I'm gonna to cover today are semiconductor companies. So it, it helps to know how the overall group is doing. When we look at SMH, we can see that it recently broke out of this inverse head and shoulders pattern. And when it broke out of that pattern, it broke the downtrend that it had been in since early 2022. Uh, since then, it's put in a series of higher highs and higher lows. So that's characteristics of an uptrend. It's also uh, flipped this uh, prior resistance level at from March 20, 2022. And it's flipped that and turned that level back into support. It's actually come back down and, and testing it today. It's also above its rising 30 week moving average. Uh, it has lost its rising 10 week moving average, which is something I use to determine the more uh, immediate trend of a stock, in this case, an ETF. But if we have a positive reaction to the inflation data, to, data tomorrow and the overall markets resume their uptrend, uh, there's no reason to think that this level can't get reclaimed and that semis can't continue their uptrend. So with that being said, let's move into the individual stock setups. The first setup I want to look at is AMD. AMD is a semiconductor name that I don't think needs much introduction. It's one of the largest semiconductor names. And uh, AMD bottomed in October 2022. Uh, since put in a series of higher highs, higher lows, it broke the downtrend that it had been in since November 2021. It's also reclaimed its 30 week moving average and it's back above its 10 week moving average after a strong reaction to some news uh, a few days ago. So there's some news came out that AMD was going to develop AI chips for Microsoft. And as you can see, that had a very positive reaction to the stock. It's actually coming off four straight days. Of, of positive returns on heavy volume and it broke the the more short-term downtrend that it had been in and it's back above its rising 10 day moving average in addition amd was also able to close today slightly green when most tech stocks and most semiconductor stocks were down so overall really good strength heading into tomorrow cpi print from amd so i think that's one you know you definitely want to be watching uh, the next name i want to cover is on semiconductor on uh, the weekly chart on 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 is is really impressive. You can see it's been building this massive cup and handle pattern for much of 2022. It was trading sideways when a lot of stocks were falling, um, so that's very positive. Since breaking out of this huge base, uh, it, it it rallied for a few weeks and then it's pulled back and is starting to form this handle pattern here, bull flag pattern, whatever you want to call it. Overall, it's very po positive uh, price action that I'm seeing from on. Uh, I also like the fact that it pulled back into its rising 30 week moving average and buyers stepped in there. I think it was able to close this week just above that that rising 30 week moving average. So that's a big plus. Uh, it's now back above a rising 10 day moving average as it you know continues to build out this handle pattern here. When we flip over to the daily, we can see that, you know, it's just consolidating within this uh, this uh, flag right here. Or, uh, handle whatever you want to call it and it's but it is holding a rising 10 day moving average so maybe we come back down and test this level once again or maybe it spends a little bit more time consolidating in here but if it can break out of this this handle that is currently forming right now uh, i think on has market leader potential written all over it it's one of the strongest stocks in in the entire market right now and so breaking out of this pattern right here i think you easily retest these prior highs and if it can uh, you know, break that level and, and, and continue on, you know, this has uh, the potential to go much higher. So that's one to definitely keep on your radar. The last name is is Rhombus. Rhombus, similar to On, has been shown incredible relative strength. Uh, as we can see here, it actually bottomed over the summer. Last summer, it bottomed in July. And since then, it's been on an absolute tear, very strong uptrend, one of the strongest trends in the overall market. It's pulled back in uh, the past few weeks, 
but it continues to build out this, this bull flag pattern here. And it's actually back above its rising 10 day moving average. So the short term trend is, is positive as well as the, the long term trend. And if it can break out of this, this uh, bull flag pattern here, I think again, we, it's easy to see that we could retest these, these, these prior highs. And then if we could reclaim those, you know, it's, it's, it could potentially be off to the races. It's one of the strongest stocks in the overall market. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to cover these three stocks with you today. Uh, the reason I'm, I, I like them is that they're in the a strong group. They're in the semi group. And each one of these stocks is showing incredible, incredible relative strength, both on the short term and longer term timeframes. So hope you found this valuable.